And David said, let their table be made a snare. And David said, David, which we're, that's what we're building, the house of David. All, this is the house of David being built up all over again. Man. You know, and what the scripture said about the house of David wax stronger and stronger. You know? Closer we get to the end, man. That's how you know that there was a prophet amongst you. Then the scripture said, then they shall know whom my chosen are. You know, it's the house of David that's going to be continuing to work of Yahweh Shem Yahushua until the end, man. You know? So, let their table be made a snare. Snares ice. That's funny. Into, unto, two towards, four, amongst. Huh? That literally don't make sense. Let's go to the... Uh, Let's do this. Snare. Noose for catching animals. Verb for noose for catching animals. String across, no. Two in, two in snare from snare related snared or snaring. So you got to just man, it's a, it's a trap. It's a trap. I thought there would be something there, but sorry. Um, let me go back to snare and a trap and a stumbling block. There we go. And a stumbling block. So all your beliefs, all your beliefs, is a, is going to become a, a stumbling block. There it is again. And to one, two, two towards four a month. Now this is literally not making no damn sense here. It says, um, a, a circumstance that causes difficulty or hesitation, bashfulness is a great stumbling block to some men. A circumstance that causes difficulty and hesitation. <laughs> so the scripture says, let your table become a stumbling block. And a recompense, a payback for not for being rebellious, for being wicked as all goddamn hell. <laughs> your table, all your beliefs, all your beliefs, man. All them false gods you believe in, all them false lying ass made up philosophies that you follow is all going to become a payback for you, man. Because the Lord is going to leave you out there hanging. You know? He's going to leave your asses out there hanging. All right? So, we go back. It says, let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back always and bow down their back always and I say then have they stumbled that they should fall the most high forbid 
but rather through their fall salvation has come unto the Gentiles for to provoke them to jealousy. Now if the fall of them be the riches of the world and the diminishing of, the, of them the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their fullness? For I speak to you Gentiles, and we're all we're those Gentiles, you know? We were those Gentiles. <laughs> and as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnified mine office. It says here, if by any means I may provoke to emulation them which are my flesh and might save some of them. For if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, what shall be the receiving of them, of them be but life from the dead? For if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou, being a wild olive tree, were grafted in among them, and with them partakers of the root and the fatness of the olive tree, boast not against the branches. But if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root, but the root thee. Thou wilt say then, the branches were broken off, that I might be grafted in. Well, because of unbelief they were broken off, and thou standest by faith. Be not high-minded, but fear. Be not high-minded, but fear. And that's what y'all don't. That's what y'all lack is that fear. That's what Jake lacketh. That's what the world lacketh the fear of the Lord, man. The world lacketh the fear of the Lord. It says. For if the Most High spare not the natural branches, take heed, lest he also spare not thee. Behold, therefore, this is a humbling work, man. And it's a humbling work that has, it's, it's, a, it's a sincere work. A humbling, sincere work, man. So we walk, we work, we walk in fear of Yahweh Shem Shai daily, man. Daily, man. We may slip and fall. But we get right back the hell up, you know? Behold, therefore, the goodness and the severity of the Most High on them which fail, severity. But toward thee, goodness, if thou continue in his good, if thou continue in his goodness. And, but you remember the warning of uh, woe unto them that lost patience, I read in the Sharah. Behold, therefore, the goodness is the severity of the Most High. Severity here. Apatonia. Say severity, roughness, and rigor. Behold, therefore, the goodness and severity of the Most High. And I mentioned before the um, the characteristics, the definition that I was looking up was the spirit. The characteristics in the mind of the Most High. And they, like I said, they, they, want, they want to portray him as some, they, the world does portray him as a fucking faggot, man. This is a, the Most High, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is a man of all men. The scriptures say he's a man of war. Yahweh is his name. He's a man of war. Yahweh is his name. Shit, man. Y'all don't learn fear, man. It says, Behold, therefore, the goodness and severity of the Most High, or them which fail severity, but toward thee goodness, if thou, if thou continue in his goodness, otherwise thou also shalt be cut off. It's a hell of a thing, man. That's a fearful thought. That's a hell of a fearful thought to get caught off from this truth, man. It's a hell of a thing. What's up, man? It's a scary thought, man, to let the, for the Heavenly Father to leave you out there uncovered, you know? It's a scary, that's a scary thought, man. To be amongst these. To be amongst these. The, these sicklings. That's what I call them. Sicklings, man. Carrying the Boost Mobile. These sicklings. Spreading those, uh, those spike proteins. Breathing that shit in, man. Shit get in your food. You go in these goddamn places to get some food, man. These people that are they got the boost mobile, man, infecting your shit. Man, it's a fucked up, scary world we live in, man. It's a terrible world we're living in. Terrible world, man. And they also, if they abide not still in but unbelief, 
shall be grafted in, for the Most High is able to graft them in again. For if it says, and they also, if they abide not still in unbelief, if they abide not still in unbelief, they shall be grafted in. For the Most High is able to graft them in again. For if thou wert cut out of the olive tree, which is a wild by nature, and were grafted contrary to nature unto a good olive tree, how much more shall these, which be the natural branches, be grafted into their own olive tree? For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery. That's why I kept reading it. Because this is some good, this is, Romans 11 is nice, man. This is fire, man. Thus ye should be wise in your own. For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, which I read the mystery part. What, uh, what the, what the first, first Corinthians 2 that I was reading, how I mentioned the mysteries. And we go into a lot of these mysteries that the world don't know. You go to these goddamn churches to look. Mystery, huh? Mystery. Mystery. Mysterion. Mysterion. That's the character Carmen was battling. That was his arch nemesis, nemesis in Star Park, Mysterion. Mysterion was, um, he was the defender of the weak. <laughs> South Park. You remember Carmen was the coon. <laughs> but Mysterion was the defender of the weak. You know? It says hidden things. Secret mystery, hidden things, man. And I always tell people, man, you can't, man, you ain't gonna pick up that book, man, and understand and interpret that book on your own correctly. You're not. You're not gonna do it. <laughs> you know. You can disagree with that. You know, most of them disagree, but you can't interpret this, the, this, these, these, the prophecies of this book on your own, man. You gotta be taught, you know. And like this book says, "Then shall my cho then shall they shall know my chosen." The Lord sent the men of the Lord out to teach the world, man. And when this word become a famine, when He pull us up off this off these streets, man, you gonna be you gonna know then. You gonna but it's gonna be too late, man. You know, we we're revealing those secrets to you. And here they again, man. Here they are sneaking that MOTB. Into the world, they just creeping it in slowly but surely. And then next thing you know, they're gonna slam it on you, man. They're gonna slam it on the world. The world gonna be called aware, but the world, but how much him y'all shy don't want he don't want the majority of the world. He ain't he ain't here for the majority of the world. You know? He ain't here for them. He's only here for his elect. So let's go back to mystery again. Hidden things, a secret mystery. Generally mysteries. Religious secrets confided, and this ain't no religion either, it's a spiritual thing, confided only to the initiated and not to the ordinary mortals. <laughs> now that's powerful. Generally, mis generally mysteries, religious secrets, and, and, and the re these religious, man, dog, they're, that's a secret society, man. That's the, that's the point they're coming from. These people that come up with this blue letter Bible, man, they're, they're a lot of them. They're worldly. That's the people of the world, man. That's why you go to a lot of these uh, definitions. You, you hear it's, the, it's a worldly definition. It's a worldly meaning to it, you know. So this ain't no this ain't no religious thing. This is a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual book. These people that come up with the blue letter ain't spiritual, man. The spirit was dealing with them to give us the blue letter. Was it's a blessing to have the blue letter? They should have kept it going, man, with the apocrypha. General mysteries, religious secrets, confided only to the initiated and not to ordinary mortals. You know that that initiated, those that's the um the ones that was predestined to receive the this truth, predestined to get to receive salvation. A hidden or secret thing not obvious to the understanding. Not obvious to the understanding. Like it's quite obvious to us that this white man is the devil. It's quite it's quite obvious to us this white man is the devil. But to the to the mass of our people, uh, he's a new white man. <laughs> he's a new devil. <laughs> you know, you heard how foul 
Yep, your boy was on the television. He said, my brothers and sisters, you'd hear the vibration of that shit, man. That shit, he should have rehearsed that more. <laughs> Sound too fake, you know? Sound too goddamn fake. A hidden purpose or counsel. All these is on point, though. A, a, a seek, a, his secret will, which that's another mystery, the will of the Heavenly Father, which the world don't know, man. They don't know the will of the Heavenly Father. Again, I'm going back to that Ezekiel 2, because you're going to hear a lot of these points, man. For y'all disobedient, for the children of disobedience, the will of the Heavenly Father, you know? It says of the Most High, the secret counsels which govern the Most High in dealing with the righteous, which are hidden from the from ungodly and wicked men, but plain to the godly. Mysteries, man. This is beautiful dealing with these mysteries. And these mysteries has helped keep that fear fresh. That fear that we that fuels us, that keeps us, it keeps us fresh in us, you know, because we keep reminding ourselves, you know. We keep reminding ourselves. It's a spiritual thing, man, that constantly inside of us reminding us that the most high will whoop your ass if you don't keep stay on that straight gate. That straight gate, that narrow gate, that straight gate, that difficult path to follow the Lord, man. It's difficult. That difficult path. Because you gotta you're fighting a spiritual thing, man. You fight and you you trying to stay well, in line with your how much in the outside, but you gotta you fight the world because the world keep coming at you with these these goddamn wicked ass temptations, man. This worthless ass shit that ain't gonna have, can, can, that can't contribute nothing to your salvation. The world, this worldly shit, man. You know? So let me get back to that. Speaking of temptations, got these little um, uh, uh, vaxxed up Edomite bitches come chasing after me, man. Got these boost mobile up bitches trying to holler at a brother, man. Aggressively, too. All boost mobile up. Ain't, uh, infected with that. You know, walking around with a with a uh, with a um, um, with a compromised immune system, testing HIV positive. Should have been working. Should have been walking in the spirit of Yahweh. Should have been out of shy that you know it should be easy to. to to, to, you know, to, to avoid these, these these demons in this world, man. You should have been making a, pro, a, a habit of it, a practice of it. And, and like, because these bitches ain't going to do a goddamn thing to, you know, as far as your salvation, as far as you getting delivered and receiving mercy from the Heavenly Father. Ain't nothing, ain't a goddamn thing these women can do to contribute to that. Unless the Lord sends you one that's you can deal with, you know. The blue letter was fucking up on me. I went 
to duck duck. Here we go. For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness in part is happened to Israel and to the fullness of the Gentiles become in. So let me read that again. For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness in part, in part, that blindness in part is happened to Israel. So there's a division there. There's that division there, all right? These are the elect, and there's the two-thirds. We would like to refer to them as the two-thirds. The two-thirds is for IUIC and ISUPK and, and bubble lines. Two-thirds is for that, that, that goddamn demon, that idiot, that demon, I mean a demon, that, that, that Amalekite, that uh, Khazar vocab alone. Blindness in part has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles become in. All right? And so all Israel shall be saved, but that two-thirds is going to be saved in the kingdom. Let's get that understanding out the way there. So these wicked motherfuckers, they're going to be on the other side, uh, born and taught righteousness. As it is written, there shall come out of the sign the deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness, ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them when I shall take away their sins. And that's that new covenant. We're going to be reprogrammed again. Another beautiful video. There's something good to go into. That new covenant. Jeremiah 33, 30, it's like it. Jeremiah 31, 31, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Judah. That's the, he just named 12 tribes of Israel there, you know. The, the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom, let me put it that way. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was an husband unto them, saith the Lord. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, after those days. And this is the end of the, 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 the end of Esau's world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. After those days, said the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts. So he's on program as perfect then. And will be their power, and they shall be my people, and they shall teach no more every man. And see, this in the kingdom ain't gonna be none of this going on, man. This is just done the way that Yahweh Shimon Yahshai requires to be done to bring in the kingdom, man. The Lord like a show. He like a show. And this is what this is going on in this theater, this world theater, as a you know. All the actors is playing their role, man. The elect, the wicked, you know, two-thirds. Everybody's playing their role, man. You know? It's going down the way it's supposed to. Let me go back there. What is Romans 11? For this is my covenant to them, when I shall take away their sins. I just read that, taking away our sins, how, how he's going to do it. Part of that mystery, being pro reprogrammed again. Again, part of that mystery, being reprogrammed again, is a, it has been changed in the twinkling of an eye, which the scriptures speak of. Been changed in the twinkling of an eye. In the twinkling of an eye. I can't remember if that's Second Corinthians. Yep. First, second, first Corinthians 15 and 50. And this is the spirit, man. I'll just open up the book up right to it. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot enter. It's like it. 
Now this I say, this is 1 Corinthians 15 and 50. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. And right now this is the incorrupt, incorrupt body that we're in. This is a corrupt body that, I'm in, that we're living in, man. Get sick, bones break, feeling all kind of cracks and uh, man, the shit I'm feeling, Lord, <laughs> the shit I'm feeling, <laughs> you know. So I throw up them prayers every day, all day, man, just to get me the hell up out of these bodies, man. And the why I, I want delivered up out of here, man, you know. I want delivered up out of here. I want to see the end. I want to see the result of the destruction of, you know. This is the day I live for. This is the day I'm living to see the downfall of our enemy, man. This is the down. This sign represents the downfall of our enemy. You see, this is what I'm living to see. I want to look. Down, I want to be looking down, seeing this. You know. And Lord willing, again, man, we're those men that we're gonna look down and see that lake of fire. You know, we're gonna see our enemies get hit with a with a. Uh, with a, a, a tactical cruise missile, you know, that's nuclear armed, with um, with with, with fifty kilotons of of of, of, of explosion, <laughs> you know. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot in inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all be sleep, but we shall all be changed. And this is that new covenant taking place. In a moment in the twinkling of an eye in the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. And ain't, we don't have that might to do it. It's your how much you now shot. It is all the power in his hands, man. All that power is in his hands. Infinite power, unlimited power, man. That's, you want to talk about a true living power that the world is denying? This the power that we come out here boldly and, 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 and standing stiffly for, man. You how about Shimmy al The real living power who has unlimited powers, man. Unlimited powers of righteousness. You know? So as concerning the gospel, so I can. And so all Israel shall be saved as it is written, for this is my covenant unto them when I shall take away their sins. As concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sakes. But as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sake, for the gift and, and calling of the Most High are without repentance. For as ye in times past have not believed, the Most High, yet have now or or, or or obtained mercy through their through their unbelief. Even so, have these also now not believed that through their your mercy, they also may obtain obtain mercy. For the Most High have concluded them in all in all unbelief, that He might have mercy upon all. Oh, the deaths of the riches. So let me go back to um, um, that Ezekiel now. Going back to Ezekiel, let me close that. This open this Bible has got a, got a trip. So going back to Ezekiel 2. Okay, verse 2 and 8. But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou rebellious like the rebellious house. Open thy mouth. And eat that I give thee, the whole roll. And when I looked, behold, and hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein. And he spread it before me, and it was written within and without. And there was written therein lamentations and mourning and woe. That should be words of encouragement and motivation for y'all simple motherfuckers, man. It says, and he spread it. Let me start back at 9. And when I look, be, look, behold, and hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein. And that book, you know what the book is, the book of prophecies. And he spread it before me through the Spirit. 
right? And it was written within and without, and there was written therein lamentations and mourning and woe. <laughs> That's a warning to y'all. Lamentation, mourning, and woe. That's a warning to y'all. You know? It's going to those words. First lamentations. Meaning, it says lamentation, dirge, elegy, elegy, elegy. Let me do this. There are limitations. Limitations. Plaintiff cry. It says a wailing, moaning, a weeping. And the scripture says, Won't you who laugh now? For you will shall moan and weep. <laughs> you know? Man, imagine what's going to be going on, especially between the hours of 8 and 12 tonight. Ten, imagine 10 o'clock. These motherfuckers are gonna be drunk and celebrate, celebrating, partying, and it's 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 nothing like it was in times past. But that spirit is still in, the, in fools, man. Looking to bring in twenty twenty two. Let me make some New Year's resolutions and shit, which they none of them keep. All of them still the goddamn same devils they were. <laughs> Mo weak, wailing. To shout, cry. So that don't sound too good. That don't sound too good. Mourning. A rumbling, growling, moaning. A rumbling, growling, a moaning. Come on, man. A sign of moaning and signing. And woe. We already know woe is, is, is destruction. So it's a warning. This is a warning. You know? And they even have a book in the Bible, Lamentation. Let me get that. Let me grab some Lamentations here. Let me grab some Lamentations here. <laughs> Look, the Lamentations is fire, man. Laid open the book. Laid open the book. Um, this is limitation one. Jerusalem one and eight. Jerusalem hath grievously sinned. Therefore she is removed. All that honored her despised her. Because they have seen her naked in his gate. She signeth and turneth backward. And the world seeing that Israel is going to hell lost. The other nations see it, man. They see the state of Jake. You know? They see the state of Jake. Jake gone, man. You know? Her filthiness is in her skirt. She remembers not her last end. Therefore she came down wonderfully. She had no comfort in. O Lord. Behold my affliction for the for the for the enemy have magnified himself. And we're at the end of that. All right? The adversary has spread out his hand upon all her pleasant things. Satan. 
for she has seen that the heathen enter in, into her sanctuary when thou didst command that they should not enter into thy congregation. All her people saw him. They seek bread, and they have given their pleasant things for me to relieve the soul. See, O Lord, and consider, for I am become vile. Is this nothing to you, all of ye that pass by? Behold, and see if there be any sorrow like unto my sorrow, which is done unto me, wherewith the Lord hath afflicted me in the day of his fierce anger. From above hath he sent fire into my bones. It's that fire of affliction he sent us through. That we're currently um, uh, living in now, man, that fire of affliction. So we come out here to bear our cross. So this is part of bearing our cross. You know, from above hath he sent fire into my bones, and it prevailed against me. He hath spread a net for my feet. He hath turned me back. He hath made me desolate and faint all the days. I'm going to talk about lamentation, uh, um, um, uh, uh, woes, mornings and woes, lamentation, mornings and woes. <laughs> this book of lamentation is deep. It's fire, man. Um, lamentation, mornings and woes. Lamentation, mornings and woes. Yeah, um, lamentation, mornings, and woe. Let me bring this point out too, especially the time we're living in. For Esau is the end of the world, Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. What's taking place in the end of Jacob, Esau's world? Let me see if I can find that. <laughs> Here we go. Deuteronomy 30. And the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies. <laughs> Lamentation, mortis, and woes. Now our enemies are starting to feel that bite, that crunch. Let me start up. Deuteronomy 31. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whether the Lord thy power hath driven thee, and shalt return unto the Lord thy power, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children with all thy heart and with all thy soul, that then the Lord thy power will turn thy captivity and his compassion upon thee. What? That then the Lord thy power will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations where the Lord thy power hath scattered thee. This is currently, this is in that motion right now, man. It's beginning to take place, you know? This is a future prophecy. This is a, man, this is a major prophecy that's gonna take place, you know? This is part of that mystery of us getting delivered up out of here, you know? Part of that mystery. If any of thine be driven, and another thing, as far as coming back unto the Lord, this is what we're doing. We're turning back into the Lord. We're calling on the Lord, and He's hearing it. So this is starting. This is beginning to take place here. Okay. So it says that then the Lord thy power will turn the slacky. Like Verse four: If any of thine be driven out unto the outmost parts of heaven, from thence will the Lord thy power gather thee, and from thence will He fetch thee. And the Lord thy power will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed, and thou shalt possess it, and He will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. And the Lord thy power will circumcise thy heart, the circumcise thy heart, again, there's that new covenant. And the Lord thy power will circumcise thy heart in the heart of thy seed, to love the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul, that thou mayest live. Let me go there. Let me grab that. Let me, that's that, uh, that's that Deuteronomy 30 and, and 6. Deuteronomy 30 and 6. I can't believe it. I can't make that up. Let's 
circumcised. The word circumcised here is move. Move. Okay, circumcised. To circumcise, let oneself be circumcised, cut, be cut off, circumcised, to be circumcised, circumcised oneself, to call to be circumcised. The destruction to be cut off, cut down. And the Lord, thy power, will circumcise thy heart and the heart of thy seed to love the Lord. And it's, it says Yahweh there, to love Yahweh, thy power, with all thine heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live. And the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies. That book, that book, Lamentation, Mornings, and Woes. And the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemy, upon thy enemies, and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. So part of that ministry is we tell them you we expose and bring to light who persecuted us. Who else has the power to persecute you in this world? When you go downtown and take your ass to get a ticket, who do you do? Who the hell do you take your ass downtown to? Who's persecuting you? You know? You may have a Jake or two being a prosecutor, but on the most part, who, who's that motherfucker's judge? You know? Who who wrote the who wrote the ticket? It's all common sense, man. It's all basic common sense, man. So now these devils are starting to peel, feel the crunch. That bitch got the the the, 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 the sex freak. These are sexual freaks, man. Maxwell, whatever her name was, just got convicted. I can't wait till the day comes up with a uh, what deal she's gonna make between now and the sentence, the seat, the day of the sentence when she receives her sentence. You know how many years she's gonna receive? What's gonna go? On. Man, I'm excited to hear what's gonna come out this bitch's mouth. That's if she don't end up dead. We already know everybody. We, see, we in the woke man. We already know the elites, man. That man, they're into all kind of freaky shit, man. We already know they're into child molestation. We already know all these things. The adrenal chrome drip after molesting the child and torturing the child and drip the child. We already know the freak nasty shit that goes on behind behind the, behind closed doors, man. Was, was done to these people in secret. We already know all these things, man. That's why we tell them the world. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Thy shame shall be seen. That's what the scripture says. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Thy shame shall be seen. You see? We already know what's going on with these freaks, man. Bitch got convicted. Her boo, he's dead. They killed him. These is Edomites, man. These is all Edomites. You know? And the, and the funny thing about it, the world is seeing this thing, seeing this take place. The world is seeing it. You know? I'm watching, uh, what was it, what's it called? Um, I can't even remember the name of it. It's called uh, Mind Search or uh, this is a little... Uh, this is a little series on Netflix where they got these cops uh, interviewing serial killers to get to under, they're trying to get to understanding their minds. You know, they're trying to understand their minds, you know. And, um, and all through the movie, and they keep stressing it all through the series that each of uh, the identity of all these killers are white men, white men, white men, <laughs> white men, you know, white men. And they may have came across one. They came across one black one. He might be a terror. But they're Jake's, like I said, man. Let's not dismiss the fact Jake is all oh, two thirds of some goddamn murdering ass devils, man. Columbus over 200 now. <laughs> and this is this the last year. Yeah, let's see how, what kind of murders is going to be popping off before, the, before uh, 22 or 22, 22 kick in. There's going to be a couple tonight. You know? Let's see if there's going to be a couple tonight, man. These are murdering ass people, man. But the, like I said, the. You know, the, the world is starting to see it, man. They're starting to speak it. It's starting to be seen on the screen. It's starting to show the world who this goddamn devil is, man. You know? The rest of the world seeing this white man, they know who the enemy is. They know who the problems are all around this whole world. They know it's the white man. Only ones they don't know is niggas. It's niggas, man. They're the only ones that's totally in the dark, man. That's totally lost, man. That totally lost their way, Isaiah 1. They totally lost their way, man. It ain't trying to seek no light or find the, the proper way to go. Ain't even thinking about seeing. Ain't thinking about finding. You know. 
So again, these curses is going on our enemy, man, the one that persecuted us. Our enemy, man. E Edom, Esau, Edom. Esau, Edom. Esau, Edom. <laughs> Esau, Edom. This man is a trip, man. This devil is a trip, man. I mean, straight up, this devil is a trip. I'm crying. He's got the nerve to stand on the camera like, and trying to trying his best to put the blame on Jake. Trying to put the blame on us. So you knew, you see the tricks he's doing now. He's been doing it a long time. For example, I'm speaking about the, the daughter, this 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 um this thing they done manufactured with the two daughters and the father that that they're labeling as a, a black Hebrew Israelite, an extremist black Hebrew Israelite. This ain't nothing new. That ain't nothing new. Let me find this. This is nothing new. It's only fools, man, that's going to fall for the okie doke. Let me get some rid of some of these. I thought I had it on here, but I guess not. Let me, let me hit it up. 